Hello everyone, good evening. I hope everyone is doing great. So today we are going to learn another topic and this is Pega Peer Review Component. Okay, so on a high level if I talk about what this component does is that when we are working in a branch development, this ensures or this kind of a help in uh, uh, help in our reviewing process. So let's say that a junior developer is working in one of the branch, okay, for one of the story and once they completed the the development okay they want that review to be done okay obviously they can like uh, request in the chat and then the senior developer or the lead system architect can do that but how you want to track that okay so this component ensures that 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 review is done through the pega and also it is getting tracked okay for future purpose if you want to like a review that uh, if you want to see that okay if you want to like if your senior leadership okay wants to see that the review was actually done or not okay so let's see how this this component works i'll quickly show you so the first thing first okay what you need to do okay you can download that pega peer review component okay pega peer review component okay so you can download it okay so here you can see that from the the pdn you can download this and then after that what you need to do you need to install and once you install it will be available in the component okay so that you need to do so this is the prerequisite first you need to do that now let's say you are working in a branch development so what i'll do i'll, I'll go ahead and create a, a branch here quickly okay so let's say i'm creating a home loan branch so i created the branch okay now i'll add some rule okay so maybe let me see if i can add a case type and so I'll say home submit. So it's just showing no unlocked. Let me see that. Just give me a second. Maybe it's not teaching. Let me enable. Yeah. Because of that, uh, it was not coming, but that should be fine. So I'll quickly select that version. So I've enabled the branch development. You can do it like without that. It's not necessary that you have to do it like that. You can manually also add the branch, okay? And now, like like I've added home loan, right? I can add another one also to test. So that should not be a problem, okay? You can add it, okay? But um, to work on the branch development, you need to make sure that each and every rule set is, is uh, locked, okay? And if you want to see the video, like how we can do the branch development, I can attach that link, okay? With this video so let's go ahead and add a case type so home so just i'm trying to add few rules okay to see that how um this uh, the review process works so so let's say this is the uh, what i'm doing right now okay is done by junior developer or one of the team member is working on this branch and uh, writing some code so just wait for a second it will do that Okay, so we got a branch, uh, sorry, we got a case type. If I'll go to this one, we can see that, okay, these many rules got created automatically when I added that. Now, let me create one utility as well to see that, okay, few extra rule. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and create test something like that, okay, and I can add that class. I'm just like trying to add some rule in the branch. Now let's create that activity as well. Let's save it. Okay. So now we got enough rule. You can see that. Okay. So now let's say the junior developer is done with everything and they clean up, clean up their code and everything. Now what they can do here, it's showing like my like ID only, but ideally it will be the developer name updated by, and then the developer can create a review task and also put the due date. So let's say I'm putting a due date of uh, Monday. Okay. And you can assign it to. So you can assign it to your lead okay you can assign to user id so here i'm like let's say assigning to l lsa direct qtm okay so you can assign to your lead and then submit it if you want to write like okay code review for new let's say you can do that new case type home load something like that if you want to do that so that in future it will help if okay but those things is not necessary okay so now you can see that code review got created code review for uh, case type home loan and it got created and the status is showing open now let's say this is done okay so once this code review task is created basically it's in the back end pega is creating a case type or like the task or the work object now 
uh, let's say the LSA is logging and going to their home page once they log in once they log in okay so now it's not showing let me just refresh this once they log in and go to the home screen they can see that okay one of the task is review task is assigned to them so you can see that right here so October 7 home loan okay the branch name is home loan descriptions is home loan and code review for case type home loan so this is the the task which is assigned and from here only that reviewer can take action so either they can do it from here or they can do it from here as well so basically they can open the branch okay and and go to each rule okay so how they can do the review is okay so that can be done from here like they can open each rule okay and and mark that okay either they can mark it as a resolve or they can like so you can see that so without this component if i'll remove the peer review component this options will not come okay so this is coming from the component which we added so here now okay so if you want to say to do okay so let's say if you want to mark it done so you can do it done if you want to provide some fix okay so you can post it here and if you post here something like that okay that the things will get notified the other persons will get notified that okay please change please update the let's say please update the the scope okay let's say scope or yeah please update the scope okay if you want to do that or please review so you can post it and 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 it will go to the other person okay and 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 depending on the, you can configure the email as well if you want to do that okay so email will also work here but for now here it's it's working the pulse because the email i have not configured so this is the fix okay and then ask if you want to ask uh, 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 that also you can do that so again it will it is showing the same pulse masses okay and to do okay i think to do is nothing but you have to do that okay so there are like three actions okay mostly okay so let's say if i have done and then if you want to do it to do okay then i can do that to do so to do is basically nothing you have to do okay so if you have already selected something and then you want to go back to previous state you can select to do ask is you can ask the questions if you can suggest the fix and then you can mark the done so this is this you can do it okay for each rule from here so let's say we have done the review for one rule but it is not showing here okay it's not showing in the reviewed item so how you can see that a status right so it will be confusing right how you can see that for how many rules i have already reviewed it okay so for that what i'll suggest that okay that you can navigate it like this okay so go to the application uh, branches okay and loan app home loan and here you can see that or or just click on this review things here from the review or here review so here you can see that again that is coming code review for case type okay and here you can see that there are like so many rules and for that for the done we have just did for the two one is for the the class okay and and the second is for the uh, data page okay and still to do is a 16 item okay so 16 item you have to do and here also it's showing the category wise that you have to do one review of activity one case type one class database so everything is showing here so uh, so you can see that and based on that you can do the review okay if you want to see the category wise priority like how many are like the highest okay and how many is the medium so that also you can see that based on the CVRT. so if you see that high the activity will definitely come okay because it's it's it has the warning okay so that also you can do that if you want to do by type okay so that also you can see that okay under activity we have one under case type we have one so that you can see that okay so uh, uh, and once you complete each by e, like once you complete all the rules okay finally this this branch will get marked as a completed and then you'll be able to merge the code so let's see if i if i if i try to merge this okay what's happening okay so here th this is where i'm saying that it will ensure that yes the review is getting done okay so see the review task is not completed yet okay so if you try to merge it see it's a saying please review the branch before the merge so this is where this this uh, this review process is ensuring that each and every lines of code is getting reviewed before you are merging okay so that okay so now let's see that okay for now i'm going and like you can close it from here as well like close the whole review task but i'll not suggest that but let's say for now i'm doing it okay so i'll what i'll do i'll just go ahead and close this so now let's see if i closed it and still after that also if i'm adding a rule or modifying a rule so let's see if i'll if i'll go here and 
just change the scope to note and check in it so if someone is after the review is completed right if someone is making any change okay then again you let me show you so let's come to the branch see it's a showing so we had reviewed it okay but i changed it right this one that that's where again it's a saying that it's it's not resolved so what you can do for this one it's not reviewed okay so you can the junior developer or the developer can again create a new new review task or it can be open so i i can for now like it can be reopen as well so if i just reopen okay then i'll get an options to review that one okay so now i just reopen it okay and if i'll refresh here i'll get an options to review and now i can mark it done okay so if i'll and then once it is done then i can resolve this okay i can close this and once if i'll come here it if i'll refresh then you can see that review is reviewed is done so this is how you can ensure that okay uh, that whatever the code it has been written in your applications before merging and before moving to the next environment each and every lines of code is getting reviewed so this is what i wanted to to let you know okay uh, if you're not as of now if you're not using in your applications the branch development i'll suggest to do that and also i'll request i'll suggest or request to start using this component this component is very helpful another things which you can also see this with this one right so uh, let's say you have written 10 rules and then five rules requires unit test cases so you can see from here only and then you can comment that okay please create a unit test cases as well like let's see if you're uh, here this activity right this doesn't have a test cases so you can add a comment that please uh, add a test you can see from here only so that these are the rules okay which doesn't have the unit case unit test cases so you can see in one view and request your developers to do that that as well and obviously you can see the other details as well like what is the weightage score okay review coverage and and other stuff so that's it for this session it was just a quick session on this code review component okay uh, please do try uh, even if you're not using in your real project okay you can just download it and and try in your local okay and see how it works so that's it thank you thank you very much have a good day bye